8,484 cases of Lassa fever have been reported since January this year, with about 35 of them being healthcare workers. Meanwhile, 174 deaths have been recorded at week 40 this year, while infections have been reported in 28 Nigerian states, including the Federal Capital Territory. To curb future outbreak of Lassa fever in Nigeria, the Nigerian Red Cross Society has converged health experts, humanitarian workers and other stakeholders on a one-day Lassa fever roundtable on the need to brainstorm and highlight effective community engagement strategies, efficient resource mobilization, preventive and control measures as keys to controlling Lassa fever outbreak. Clearview News' Mifuno Kon was there and tells us more. Lassa fever is an acute viral hemorrhagic illness caused by the Lassa virus, a member of the Aranovirus family of viruses. As the dry season sits in, the Operational Coordinator, International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, Francis Innocent Salako, and other health experts have advised individuals, families, and communities to remain calm and adhered to public health measures, including practicing good hygiene, ensuring access to safe drinking water, maintaining a safe and clean environment, as well as avoidance. So we need to be to still working with the community, trying to, to engage community uh, participants, community leaders, and also, of course, the government and other partners to raise the awareness of communities throughout this project that we are implementing and actually try to, to get some, some leaders also at the level of the community to adopt some uh, basic hygiene attitude and we're sure that this will actually help. So part of what we do, we distribute a lot of uh, rat traps to vulnerable communities. We also know how hygiene promotion is key in the response to Lhasa. So we also distribute disinfectants, we distributed uh, some uh, soaps so that people can uh, improve their hygiene promotion. So today, we're coming together with relevant stakeholders that also implement in their own capacity for the Lassa fever response in Nigeria. What we're doing is to brainstorm, to look at what we did right and what really did not go well. We also need to up our games because currently in Nigeria, we have multiple outbreaks. We are responding to cholera, we have EMPOS and now Lassa fever um, will be looked into. So I want to encourage us to up our game and let's collaborate. Stakeholders, humanitarian and health workers also advocated for a coordinated prevention and control strategy to checkmate the potential outbreak and spread of Lassa fever. In as much as, you know, vaccine is very, very important, very important, you understand, to curb you know, this disease, because if the immunity of the populace is built, you understand, this disease will not even have a way to spread. But in the meantime, while we are waiting for this vaccine, you know, to come up, you understand, IPC will be one of the measures, is the strategy we have to employ too. What can we do? Because the rats will come. As much as possible, we do emphasize, like I said, RCC key priority behaviors. Number one, improve your personal hygiene, improve your food safety coverage storage, improve your environmental hygiene, keep waste. So I feel like it needs a more integrated approach. It needs a lot of public-private partnership. It's a heavy, um, uh, heavy demanding uh, in resources. You need to also have very specific layout of the treatment center so that no one can enter if it doesn't have something to do so that you don't bring the virus from the treatment center elsewhere in the hospital and then your hospital become an infection center uh, rather than uh, protecting uh, the treatment center. The Lassa Fever Roundtable, which basically was a review of best practices, aims at highlighting milestones and future solutions to outbreaks of Lassa Fever. Imefono Kun reporting for Clever News.